Two ball clubs, one division. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Kansas City Royals. And it's game time on 2K Sports. Coffin Stadium, this is the home of the Royals, the site for our game today. Just moments from now, Eric Bedard, he'll be bringing his stuff to the mound to try and put up a W. Hi again, everybody, alongside Steve Phillips and John Clark. I'm Gary Thorne. Great to have you with us. June coming to an end. Starting on the mound, Kyle Davies. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? I'll get a chance to watch Kyle Davies out on the mound, but for the manager, you have to keep an eye on him. Throwing strikes is critical. He doesn't. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup, Ozzy Keith. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. The White Sox won last night. A good start winning games one and two of this three-game set against the Royals. Well, this ball club got off to that great start in April, and look at what it's done for them. First at bat, game starts with a strike. We're at the top of the standings as you close in on the midway point of the season. That's exactly where you want to be. And a lot of teams seem to flame out as the season goes on. The longer you play, the more your inconsistencies will show up in the standings. Let's see if this team can continue to play great. Well, a good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? That's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. Swings and misses at the curve, 0-1. Let's see if he can make some adjustments in the game today. Struck out twice last night and got fooled at the plate. So he's got to wait a little bit longer. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch. And the hitter just couldn't catch up. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a cake. That's a pretty fast pitch right there. And hard to get that much break on it. And it's Paul Canerco now. Two outs and nobody on. Here it comes. Swung on, hit this one towards Anderson. And that's going to do it in this half inning. So Kyle Davies gets him three up, three down. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. We're going to take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. And Steve, uh, as you take a look at this Kansas City lineup, what do you think we're going to see? Well, veteran left-hander Eric Bedard out on the mound. He's been hampered by injuries in recent past, but when he's healthy, he's productive. Quality, command of the fastball, outstanding breaking pitch in the field for the changeup. As a hitter, you have to be ready for all the different pitches. Up the middle, Bedard. Oh, and Pierre oh, is retired. And we'll have a chance now to see how the Royals line up, presented by Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, Rick Ankiel's a special one. And how special? There's not many pitchers in the history of baseball that can come up to the big leagues as a pitcher and then turn themselves into an everyday position player outfielder and still produce. He has a great bat. You have to remember, he's still learning. Well, let's see if some of the things he's learning can do some damage today. It's going to be to Jesus. A career 267 number off the White Sox. And he misses high, but Dar can't get him to go after it. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2 0. That is the ball. The Jesus now. He'd like to hack here on 3 0. I've got to have some confidence in this one. Three hits in the game last night. Must be seeing the ball well. And a check swing with a call strike. Three and one. Here's the three one pitch. Three fastball two. is in there. Now three two. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. Three two on the way. Swung on grounded towards the hole. And that'll set down to Jesus. Now a quick look for this game at the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. So Steve, the thoughts on a fielder here. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Butler's in the box. Base is empty and two down.
Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. And that's the third out. That'll do it. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. He's the league leader in hits. Number 20, Carlos Quentin. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. That's one down. And Beckham's in the box. Career average for him, only 135 off the Royals. Swinging from the heels, and he missed it. 0-1. Now picked up three big base hits in the game last night. Swinging the bat very well. There's a ball. Hit well. Deep into center field. Way back. Way back. Out of here. Goodbye home run. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Here's the pitch. Pitcher gets a little help right there. A dirt pitch for a swinging strike. And the home run there, Steve, the pitching is going to have to be very careful now. Well, that's right. Damage control is critical. You don't want this inning to get out of control. He strikes out Alex Rios in the swing and a miss. Now you can hang laundry on that one. 94 miles per hour. Pretty good velocity, but that's pretty straight. It's going to be Przinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Taps this one foul off to the left. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. They get that first run of the ball game here in the second. Something to work on. The White Sox lead it one to nothing. Lead off hitter Rick on Keel. Designated hitter number 24, Rick and Keel. The dart gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Ball. And on Keel watches that one go by and the count is even. Swinging and a miss and it's now one and two. The one two on its way hit sharply towards the hole. He's out at first base. Nice play on the cover. Uh, that's a well executed play right there. Gary hustled over got the first base. And touched the bag. Thought he might have had a strike out there but he's involved in the out anyway. Base is empty with one away. Hit hard to second. Beckham, two men have been put away. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average with runners in scoring position, and they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the runs scored, you give yourself a chance to win. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Three up, three down this half inning. No runs yet. Major League Baseball in Kauffman Stadium. A great combination and glad to share the day with you. Mark Tia. And Mark Tia up right there in the top five in home runs.
Here's the pitch. He's looking a little confused out there right now. He just swung at a pitch that was in the dirt. Here's the pitch. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. This one towards Pierre. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. And Jim Tomey. His batting average 305 lifetime off the Royal. One out. Faces him. First pitch to him, a curveball, swung on and missed, 0-1. You know, his curveball is so good that it comes out of his hand, and it looks like a ball, and then it breaks down into the zone. So many guys take the pitch. And with that 12-6 to curveball, Steve, as a hitter, you better pick up the rotation. Boy, you better pick it up early, but a lot of times, guys give up on him. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Well, that's what you love to see from a pitcher, setting guys down quickly. Keep that pitch count down. One, two, three. Can't pass for any more efficiency than that, John. Now an excellent pitch selection there. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. One of the best batting averages in the league. Popped into foul territory down the left side. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. Strike three, Damon on a swing and a miss, turned away. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. And coming. And there's the familiar face of the manager, Trey Hillman. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. Bedard gets set and delivers. Strike one! Takes that first pitch low in the strike zone, strike one. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Strike, Strike two. two. Gordon doesn't like to get behind here. See what he does with the 0-2. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. That retires Gordon. Well into the season, here's a look at the White Sox schedule. This is their final game with Kansas City. Tomorrow's off. And it's on the road to take on the Rangers and uh, one of the game's leading hitters, Josh Hamilton. The team they rolled over last time out. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. After that, they'll be playing host to the Angels and the bat of Bobby Abreu. The team they didn't have too much trouble with in their previous series. Nobody on base, one away. Strike one. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Really bad pitch right there to ball. Now Przinsky positions himself. 1-1 one, one pitch, a fastball, cut on, missed, one and two. Here we go, Casey. He swings and nails a liner. Back I'm able to pull that one in. Let's take a look where the Kansas City Royals rank right now in the American League. Third in stolen bases, seventh in strikeouts, and they're in the top ten in base on balls. And a real strength for any club that even if you're not hitting on a given day, if you work the count, you can get runners on and get base runners in scoring position. And Bernard has him 0 1. That one a called strike. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. This is that fastball already 0-2. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. That swung on and grounded up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. The White Sox still ahead. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Trying to fish for that one. Nothing in one. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary. Really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. There's a swing and a smash. And it's caught. Played by Anderson. Canerco at the plate. Well, leading the league in home runs. 
And the first pitch. Watches the off speed pitch. Ends up 0 1. Slider in the dirt. One one pitch, a curve, take it for a strike, one and two. Uh, he's coming off a game last night where he had two big hits, and looks like he's starting to get locked in a little bit. Hot shot towards the hole, and it gets through. Keep the streak going. That's going to bring Carlos Quentin up, and a look at next Sunday. The White Sox are playing away from Chicago. They find themselves at the Rangers ballpark in Arlington to take on Texas. Start time is 8 Eastern. Okay, Gary, fans are going to want to tune into that one because I think that's got a chance to be a heck of a ball game. Leading the MLB in batting average. Here's the delivery. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Davies with a strike. Good pitch. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Strike three. Clinton on a swing and a miss. He's out. Well, just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. A runner on first with two outs. First pitch, here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch. 0 and 1. Dirt pitch swung on and missed. Not feeling real good about that one. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. White Sox one, Kansas City nothing. And it's Juan Pierre now to lead it off. Picked up a hit in the game last night, breaking a five-game hitless streak. And maybe he can start putting an offensive streak together right now. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Now, Gary, they're going through the lineup the second time around right here. They don't have any hits, so they've really got to start thinking about what are they doing at the plate and should they be more aggressive right now? The pitch. Swung, ground ball to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. And Pierre is retired. Can't D against the walk, so a look at the pitching stats who haven't hurt themselves, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. The Royals, second. Third, the Mariners, the Rays fourth, and number five, the Indians rounded out. Well, the philosophy for both these teams is throw strikes. Do not beat yourself. Do not give base on balls. Make the opposition put it in play. And Ramirez fields the ball. And that'll set down to Jesus. But Gary, he just continues to mow this lineup down. We're talking about 11 hitters in a row retired. And Butler's in the box. His career averaged 257 lifetime off the White Sox. Strike one. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. And it's fouled away. Ball. Oh, tough one to lay off right there. That fastball. One and two. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side's retired. And so out of the inning, only eight pitches thrown. That's pretty efficient. The Royals unable to get on the board. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Strike That's two. a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching work. K-Cam presents the two-seamer. Take a look. It's going to be Przinsky. Top five AL and runs scored. First pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Here's the pitch. Davies with a strike. Good pitch. 
Here's the delivery. Got him. Strikeout number 10 today. Get a chance to take a look at this slider right here, Gary. And here's Martian. And he's in the top 10 in the league and runs. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung out and missed. Stolen one. Hit up the middle. The dive, and he's got it. From his knees, he got him. What a play. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. And here's Rick on Keel. And he starts and Keel out. Hit sharply towards the hole. That's one away. Let's have a look at the Central Division race brought to you by State Farm. The All-Star break just around the corner now. First place, the White Sox. In the second spot, the Twins. Third, the Royals. Tigers in fourth place. And down at the bottom, the Cleveland Indians. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And Conurco makes the catch. Avila's at the plate. Grounded out last time. Here's the first pitch. On the ground to second. Back up. Throws on to first side is retired. Well, that's one way to keep your pitch count down. In the dugout, Trey Hillman. This club only separated by one run for tying this ball game. Got a plan to get back in. We'll see. Tommy will foul that one away. That ball is hit a long way deep into right center field. Way back there. Goodbye, home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. Well, another home run right there. That's two now. So really, this, this lineup looking like they're getting very comfortable. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. First pitch on the way to Damon. Damon will foul that one away. Steve, a big fly like that at this point in the ball game. You, you start thinking, you know something? We're going to win this ball game. Well, backbreaker, boy, that kind of power shows the other team that, you know oh, what, you what? always have a chance to catch up or extend your lead. Right Cuts two. on that fastball. Can't make contact. One and two. Guys, nice. coming off of a game last night, a little bit disappointing. A couple of hit up the middle. Oh, man, was that close. That was right back at him. Somehow he got out of the way. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. No one out and a runner on first. He deals. Slider swung on a miss. 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. Line towards second. This one into the gap. Rolling towards the wall. And the throw. And here's Damon going to try to score. And he crosses the plate all the way from now first base. For the Chicago Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big-time momentum. Paul Canerco. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. And they've not had to struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. You know, after giving up runs like that, this is where the pitcher has to bump. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. Anderson will field. He comes up with it easily here. That will hold the runner at second. Now Quickly, let's check out the league Chicago leaders and runs batted in brought to you by State Farm. Well, these are the guys that make the most money because they're the ones who impact the game in a big way, driving in the critical runs that lead to a team's success. Base runner 90 feet away from Carlos Quinton, who's at the plate. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Now with one away and a man on third base, going to issue the walk. Well, they're going to pitch around this guy, put him on base, now try to get the double play. Not a bad strategy. Two men on, one out. First pitch on the way. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. 
Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Struck him out. That's going to be 11 in the game. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four-seam fastball in K-Cam. Alex Rios batting with two runners on. Well, they drove in four runs last night. They're hoping he saves some of those runs for today as well. Slider just misses 1-0. Oh. But if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Rio swings and misses, and the count is even. Though he pulls the string on the circle change, 1-2. Well, when you swing like that at a changeup, you're very lucky you didn't hit it, or else it'd be an easy out. Ended this inning with a nice piece of pitching work as he gets the K. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crook, as we bring you Mage Boards. Bedard gets set and delivers. Lays off a called strike of the knees, 0-1. You know, I know we're not supposed to say anything about no hitters, so I would never <laughs> say anything about that, Gary. But Don't worry. You know, I don't think they have any. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll be tagged out at first base. And we've got Anderson batting. 0 for 1 thus far. And here's the first one. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. And that'll set down Anderson. But Gary, he just keeps stretching this hit the streak even further. We're talking about 17 hitters retired in a row. Now Przinsky positions himself. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding oh, the strike zone. Watches that one for a called strike. Nothing and two. And he swings and hits this one foul. Hot shot towards the hole. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He normally not called upon to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. And now, through six innings, this masterful performance continues. Now, Gary, he's putting on a great show. No question about it. What a fine job he's doing on the mound. No runs yet for Kansas City. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. None other than Ozzy. That's Ozzy Gian. Now he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance run so important. Leading it off, A.J. Przinsky. 0 for 2 thus far. The first pitch. There's contact. He drove it well. Anderson will field. And he grabs it in his truck. That's some big time power hitters right here. Some guys that look to drive the ball out of the ballpark and swing hard in case they hit it. And when they make contact, they can do some serious damage. And Mark T into bat. He bounced out his last time. One out, nobody on. The pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And that'll set down Tian on tap for the Royals. They wrap up the Chicago series today. They'll get on the road tomorrow. And then they'll be off to take on the Angels in that bat of Bobby Abreu. It'll be a three-game series. Then it's on to another challenge. Hit hard on the ground towards third. Throws to first side is retired. Amazingly fast inning. Uh, outs here coming quickly. Three pitchers. Stretch time here in Kansas City. 
And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And here's Juan Pierre. He'll start the home half of the seventh. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. And Bernard has him 0 1. That one a called strike. No runs, no hits. Deep, deep into this ballgame, Gary. And obviously, he is pitching a gem of a game. Strike two. Pierre now has got to be careful, but a good punch hitter. There's two quick strikes. Now he's ahead 0 2. Let's see if he goes out of the zone to see if he can get Ball. the hitter to chase. Can't get him to chase the fastball. Low, 1 and 2. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone around. That one's lying softly towards the gap left center. That's in for Kansas City. Now up to the plate. Well, we thought we were going to be a piece of history right here today, but as he takes his no hitter to the seventh, he can't make it through alive. Here he is in a big moment, David DeJesus. Runner on first. First count on DeJesus. Here it comes. And that one fouled off by DeJesus. Hit on the ground up the middle. And he's got it. Gets one at second. And a deuce, a double play. Execution on that 6 4 3. You have to have body control around the bay. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. And Butler's in the box. Struck out swinging his last time up. Here's the first pitch. That one's too low. Bedard missing. And here's the delivery. Let's the 1 0 pitch go by. 1 1. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. That one gets passed, but no damage done. Two one pitch. Lined right at the second baseman. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And Steve, he has shut him down, and it's seven now under his belt. Unstoppable at this point. Absolutely unstoppable. I think he's going to finish it off. The White Sox still ahead. There is the uh, relatively new manager, Trey Hillman. The thoughts of a manager, one can only speculate, but at this point, you got to believe he's... He's got some words for that next practice. First pitch on the way to Damon. And this is inside, and that hit him hard. Well, that's going to leave a mark right there. A big old welt on him. He's going to need some ice when he gets back to the dugout. So, Alexei Ramirez is batting. Well, you've got the lead right now with speed on first base. You have to get him going, I think, Gary. Keep the pressure on. Keep trying to tack on some runs. Deep right. And it's going to be DeJesus. That's one away. And he'll go back to first. We've got a moment to check out the State Farm leaderboard for teams that have tacked up the most extra base hits this month. Number one, the White Sox. The Twins in second. Third, the Yankees. The A's fourth. And at number five, it's the Angels. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Here's the delivery. Davies with a strike. Good pitch. That's it foul by Canerco. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Boy, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. He swings and drives this one. Anderson will field. Two away. Now batting. 
for the Chicago White Sox. Right oh, down on the mound, we've got 20. Robinson Tejada. He's been brought in to take over for the Royals. Well, as a manager, when your pitcher pegs a batter, you hope that he gets his focus back and can bring it back in the strike zone. But if he can't, you have to go out and get him. You can't afford to put more men on base. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep into right field. Gone! A two-run homer. The lead is five thanks to that two-run shot. He just rotated his hips and drove the bat head through the ball and ripped it out of the ballpark. And Steve, you hope somebody got a shot of that because that was the picture perfect swing. That's one of those ones that you're glad you're still in your seat and not at the concession stand. Now White Sox lead expanded here, White Gary. Sox. They just keep getting Second big hits. Baseman, number 15, Gordon. Two outs, base is empty. And the first pitch. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of there? You're out. And he looks at a fastball that's in there, side retired. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox, they've got a commanding five run lead. Here's Rick on Keel. 0 for 2 thus far. Number 24, Rick Ankeel. And he starts Ankeel out. Strike Bedard one. gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. What an extraordinary effort out of the mound today. I mean, we're deep into this ball game. They've only been able to generate one hit against him. His a line drive towards short. And it's Kansas caught by Royals. Ramirez. Second and now we've got Number one down three. here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now, Gary. Bedard gets set and delivers. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. Strike two at the knees. Nothing and two. And it holds at 0 2. Strung him out. Wow. And again, there's no doubt, as has been the case throughout this game, he's in charge. Alex, and when you got a guy pitching like this, you got to give him the shot for the win. Avila's at the plate. Ground out victim last time through. First pitch. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. That one gets through for a base hit. So Alex Gordon will come up. Well, he's coming off a two-hit performance in his last outing. And even though they lost, it's a good sign that he's starting to swing it. First pitch on the way to Gordon. A smash to first. Throw in time. Forces him at second for the third out. We don't get a lot of chances to see a pitching performance like this. Now you gotta like his chances. He's been unflappable the entire game. The Royals unable to get on the board. And Alex Rios up. Center fielder, number 51, Alex Rios. And he starts Rios. out well hit towards the middle He's one a away it's gonna be Brzezinski hasn't had much success yet in this game he's hoping to get something this time and here's the first one swings and grounds this one foul wide a third here's the pitch 
And that's a strike. A.J. Frzynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. Anderson will field. Rums over, puts it away. And now, courtesy of State Farm, here's a chance to look at the teams creating the most offense. The White Sox, number one. Second, the Yankees. The Red Sox, third. The Twins, fourth. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Well, leading the league in runs score, that means they score runs in a lot of different ways. They have power. They have speed. They can manufacture runs. They can really find ways to score in any way possible. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that'll put Tien on first. Coming so, Jim, tell me coming up. I tried to go down with that 0 1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and he took advantage of it. 0 1 the count right now after he fouled off that first one. Called strike below the waist, and he's in the hole now, 0 and 2. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Here it comes. A shot up the middle, and that gets in there. Tell me a base hit. Coming Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Left fielder, number 18, Johnny Damon. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. Strike one! Here's a look at the matchup numbers. 3-0-1 off the Royals. Strike, Strike two. two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Swing and a miss. Gets away. He's heading for first. Oh, and he's got it over to first base, and they get the out. Now, great catching. He's earning his money behind the plate today, chasing that ball in the dirt, blocking it. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gian. Great game. His club has put together. Things have gone really well. And the first pitch. Really lets it rip on that one, but starts off with a strike. Bedard gets set and delivers. 0-1, fastball and a called strike. Oh, well, it's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone, down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. Straight away left. And that's going to be a base hit for Anderson. Oh, so Jason Kendall will come up. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. Swung on and ripped towards second. Coming Kansas back. City gets Kansas a shot City at it right now. Left fielder. A Number perfect six. situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. Fastball just misses. 1-0. At the belt, the 1-0. On the outside corner, one and one. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch, realizing you can't do much when you get that kind of ground ball to short. He's up with it. And there's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. I know they wanted to. Runners at first and third, one away. Fresh count on Jesus. Here it comes. That one's too low, Bedard missing. Well, this guy is a classic finesse pitcher with one of the best curveballs in the league. Foul fastball, now the count one and two. And Steve, also the batters have to keep in mind he'll mix the fastball in once in a while and he can really. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. That's one out. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. Number 16. Billy Butler. Uh, it's just a shame to see the shutout broken up right there, Gary, but still, just a tremendous performance today. 
Bedard gets set and delivers. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Towards the middle. And that gets down. Butler on first. The opportunity for offense is right now. The infield played it deep like they knew he was going to swing away. He did, but was still able to find a hole. And he starts and keel out. Strike two now with no balls and two strikes on keel needs to protect the strike zone. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. A tough loss here for this crowd today. But boy, do they see some some kind of pitching performance from the visiting team. And we get a moment to recognize the Pepsi Clutch performer. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of 